Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we have none other than the strongest man in the world, White Beer. Do want to mention that this statue did come out a year ago and a few months ago. So it's kind of an old figure zero one piece. Nonetheless, I'm really happy to unbox this and review it for you guys. And I hope you do enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's go over the box and then this unboxes and talk about this beautiful White Beer statue. Here we have the front of the box and you can see the Toe Animation sticker and the Tabanshi Nation sticker showing you the authenticity of this statue. Here we have one side of the box. Here we have the back of the box and you have a better view of how White Beer is going to look like. And then you also have this White Beer and Pocus DAs together, which I will be showing you guys this later on in this video. Here we have the other side of the box. Here we have the top of the box. And lastly, here's the bottom of the box. So I got this from Amazon, but it was sold by Cool Japan Hobby Market Guarantee Authenticity and it was shipped from Amazon. And it cost me around $106. And now the height of this statue of White Beard is 11 inches from the bottom of his base all the way to his cape. So first thing first is we have the base and it says Edward Newgate White Beard Pirates Captain. All right, so here we have it, White Beer, the strongest man in the world. Now, I did, I did took out his weapon, by the way, in case you're wondering. Now, his base, basically, you see that detail. He's standing on two rocks, and then this rocks, small little rocks under his, under him, or around the, around him, basically. And then it's also dirt. There's the big dirt that they put behind him. And also, that's holding his cape as well. Now his body you can see as well, there is that detail of that he has wound marks, basically he's wounded and also you can see his um, muscle, looks very well fit for an old guy, 72 years old. So here's the back of white beer. Now it looks very detailed as well, basically you see his muscle, like I mentioned before, uh, he's very very ripped for an old man like I don't believe I will be that ripped when I'm 72 but yeah <laughs> then you can see his outfit is very well detailed has his coat that he wears on the anime when he went to the war now I do want to mention that there's a minor paint job and it's right there that little red paint that should not be there doesn't look that bad but uh, it's there overall though th uh, this white beard looks awesome. There you can see his face. Looks really nice. Looks exactly like white beard. And I really like it. It looks really nice. Love basically all the details that they put on this. So here we have his weapon. And you can look at that detail as well. They did a good phenomenal paint job. Now it seems like he's performing his weapon of course with this basically have him on his hand. He's performing his double foot power, the Goro Goro no Mi. All right, so here you, you can see him with his power. Now, I do know that it kind of moves weird. As that little weird move, it doesn't really hold still. But it looks really cool. Him holding his weapon and basically performing his double foot power. So here we have White Beard next to my three Grandista Manga Dimensions One Piece that I own. And you can tell there the difference of the height of the figure and of course of White Beer. All right, so here we have it. White Beer and Porcus DAs, basically father and son fighting together. Now, of course, it didn't happen in the anime. Uh, Porcus DAs and White Beer didn't fight together. And here I added with Monkey D. Luffy. Now, this is how I go into this play mine. I do like it. White Beer, Porcus DAs, and Monkey D. Luffy. I mean, those three of them together does look really nice, in my opinion. So here we have it with the other characters of One Piece. We have Ball Hancock, Sir Crocodile, and Bucky the Clown. You can see how it looks like, basically. All these characters were part of the Marine for Arc, or the Paramount War.
there you guys have it that was the unboxing and review of the strongest man in the world white beer i really hope you guys found this build helpful so you can decide if you want to get this now if you did enjoy this build don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below what you guys think of this white beer statue and then also share this build with your friends if you guys made it all the way to the end i do want to say thank you and like always guys stay safe have a great day and i'll see you until next time